So let me tell you guys about my day while I eat my KFC dunked wings. If you guys don't know, I'm currently on semaglutide. I'm on 1.25 milligram dose. So this is my seventh week on semaglutide. I started on 0.5 milligram and then I was on 0.5 for two weeks and then I went to 0.75 milligram for two weeks and then I went to one milligram for two weeks and now I am on 1.25 milligram for the next two weeks. So far on the semaglutide, I've lost seven kilograms. But total, when I restarted my weight loss journey, I lost 10 kilograms. Um, today, I had a very hectic day and... I just did not have less to cook today, so I stopped by KFC. I got myself four damp wings and a regular chips. The chips Willow and I shared. Um, and I also got Willow chicken nuggets and damp wings. So, and um, yeah, wow, what a day, what a day. This morning, I woke up late. I was not feeling well last night at all. And I was also not feeling well this morning. I had diarrhea. And then I was supposed to go pick up my sister so that she can drop me off at work so that she can take my mom to her oncology appointment for chemo. My mom is getting chemo again. So, but because I wasn't feeling well, I woke up really late. My alarm went off at 5.30, but I only woke up at 6.30. So I texted my sister and I told her that I was going to be a little bit late. She and my mom will have to drive with me to go drop me at work. And then, um, you know, and then she can take my mom to the oncology appointment. But, like I said, I was not feeling well at all. I had a tension headache, like a really bad one. But I needed to eat first before I could take medication. So I packed myself two boiled eggs to eat. When I get to work, I was planning on having the two boiled eggs with a cappuccino and then drink my medication because last time when I drank my medication on an empty stomach, I threw up. So I didn't want to do that again. So I wanted to make sure that I was eating, but I had a very bad attention headache and I woke up late. So I told my sister I was going to be late. So my sister and my mom drove with me to go drop Willow off at school and then to go drop me off at work so that they can go to oncology. However, after we dropped Willow off, I started to feel really bad. And I told my sister, it's okay, don't drop me off at work. I think I'm just going to make an appointment to go to the doctor. Sorry if you can hear dogs barking. It's my neighbor's dogs. So, um, yeah. I ended up calling work and informing work that I was going to be, I wasn't feeling well and I was going to go to the doctor. I called the doctor. I made an appointment at the doctor. I was able to get an appointment for around 10 o'clock. And my sister had a physio appointment, so uh, we were going to go drop my mom off at um, oncology, um, have her be settled in and cozy because she was getting a chemotherapy drip. So have her settle in and then my sister was going to go to her physio appointment and then I was going to go to my doctor's appointment. However, I was also complaining about my coccyx. I don't know how to say that, but basically my tailbone was hurting so bad because I have a job where I'm constantly sitting behind a desk working. And if I'm not sitting behind a desk working, then I'm driving long distances in the car sitting, obviously, and then also driving home from work and uh, home from home to work every day. I'm also sitting. So I have a very sedentary lifestyle. I'm constantly sitting and I've been experiencing pain in my tailbone. Um, for some time now and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, going to the doctor. And let me just tell you, um, you guys better believe me if I say that everything happens for a reason because I always say that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and everything definitely does happen for a reason. So the fact that I was supposed to pick up my sister then today, take my mom to oncology, it kind of forced me to go to the doctor. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. I've only eaten like one wing and I'm already full. That's because of the semaglutide. Mm. So, basically, long story short, my sister ended up giving me her physio appointment. And I'm going to go see the physio. I, be, I am stiff all over my neck, my shoulders, everywhere. My back, my lower back, everywhere is just stiff. And that's why I'm getting tension headaches. Um, so she, the physio helped me a little bit and also, um, 
obviously went to the doctor i got some pain medication um for my tailbone <laughs> i don't know what to call it coccyx so coccyx 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 i don't know how to say that word um but i got some pain medication and um i also need to go for an x-ray um in the next two weeks so i can see what's going on with my coccyx and yeah I will be going to physio for the next, I think, two weeks or so. I'll be going in and out to physio to help with the tension headaches and also help with my coccyx, the pain that I'm sitting. Like, as I'm sitting here right now, I can feel pain. Um, when I stand up, it's like a sharp pain. And when I sit down, it's like a dull pain. And the moment I move, it's like a sharp pain. That, oh, the stupid fly. Um, that getting up and sitting down action is like a very sharp pain. So, yeah. Anyways, I've had one dunked wing and I'm already full, but I know that's not enough food for me. So I'm going to have one more at least. Mm. So full. It's very important. If you are on semaglutide to, um, to make sure you get enough calories. Mm. So that's it for me for now. I might um, eat something again a bit later if I feel hungry, but I don't think about it. I don't think I will be. I'm just going to drink some ice cold water now. But basically, after my physio appointment and doctor's appointment, my head was paining so much. I basically went to my sister's house. Our hairdresser happened to be there and she was going to do um, my sister's hair. And so. I kind of squeeze myself in there as well so that she can do my hair as well because she was also giving my head a massage and it really helped for the pain. Um, my sister has kind of like a salon set up at her home so whenever her hairdresser is there it's pretty easy. I just sit back and relax and she does washes my hair, blow dries it and everything. So I was in a lot of pain today. I still am in a lot of pain. I did drink medication to help me with the pain but after my hair was done i basically went to go pick up willow at school and i was like you know what i had a long day my headache is only now starting to subside and i don't feel like cooking right now i'm just going to bath myself bath willow and have us lay in pajamas drink my medication for the night time and then just i don't know 